It's a real estate forecast that paints sunny days ahead for the average property owner. We have so many suburbs on the central coast that are still affordable for first home buyers or for families trading up for median density living. There the forecast for financial review is we can see anywhere up to about an 8% increase in price through the end of next year. That 8% growth is in value of capitalisation. Put simply, if you own a median priced property, by the end of next year its value will likely to go up quicker than that of your multi-million dollar beachfront. If we're looking at a property that might be sold for $600,000 today, the forecast here is that by the end of 2019, we could be looking at that property being worth $640,000. Real estate expert Rod Amos fears property owners are being scared off by recent hyped up reports the market is in disarray. The property pundit says Sydney may be on the decline, but in fact the Gosford and Wyong markets are happily growing. We've had calamitous news forecasts, the sky is falling, I can assure everybody, sky is not falling. We've had virtually round terrible 88% growth in the property market in the last 10 years. What is on the decline though, but positively down, is the debt ratio. That is, the number of households paying more than 30% of their weekly income to service their mortgage. That has dropped from 4.4% in 2011 down to 2.8% in 2016. Good news, less pressure on households. Sarah Elmaselli, NBN News.